good to see everybody this morning. This is the day the Lord hath made. We're going to rejoice. We're going to be glad in it. Amen. And Amen. we're everybody that hath breath today. We're going to praise ye the Lord. And God bless you and your family. And we're asking the Holy Spirit to come and fellowship with us today. And uh, work deep in our hearts. And it's my privilege today to read the word. We're going to read from Matthew the story about Jesus. Matthew 1, 18 through 25. This are the facts concerning the birth of Jesus. Christ and his, his mother Mary was engaged to marry Joseph. But while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her fiance, being a man of stern principle, decided to break the engagement, but to do it quietly. He didn't want public disgrace for her. As he laid awake, considering this, he fell into a deep dream and saw an angel standing beside him. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, don't hesitate to take Mary for your wife, for the child within her has been conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a son, and you shall name him Jesus meaning Savior, for he will save his people from their sins. This will fulfill God's message through the prophets. Listen, the virgin shall conceive a child. She shall give birth to a son, and he shall be called Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did as the angel commanded him, and brought Mary to be his wife. And she remained a virgin until her son was born, and Joseph named him Jesus. God bless the word of God today. Let God add a blessing to the reading of our word. Praise the Lord. Praise you, Jesus. I just want to bless everybody at this holiday season. You know, they say we're not supposed to say Christmas. We're supposed to say Happy Holidays. But we need to learn to stand up in this evil world and take, take notice, let people see that we are Christians and that we are not people that have masks going in and out of our, our homes, that we really do love Jesus. And like Pastor said, we need to be soul winners. We need to fellowship with our brothers and our sisters in our neighborhood. We need to know our neighbor's name. We need to... Uh, Love our neighbor as ourselves. Amen. And learning that love is conditional, love is, is a choice, uh, is, is a life-changing experience. That we don't, we don't require any kind of credentials to love somebody or to care about somebody. It's just as easy as a smile, um, maybe take a dish to them next door or something extra or a kindness of taking in their trash or, you know, seeing about the, uh, do they need prayer. I know that when I come up against a problem, I got my neighbors on the left, the right, and across the street that I can come to in any kind of emergency, and they would help me. And I think that's what we need to be for each other. We need to be kind one to another and there for each other when we are in our depths of despair day by day trying to get up and be in a, 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 a good place in our hearts and our minds and live to the fullest. We really, really need to examine our hearts daily and trust God. And that's what I'm, I just wanted to share with you today because... Trusting God is the most important thing we've got. And when we trust God, everything will be added unto us. Amen. We seek Him first and we believe God is our, our Father and our King and our Lord and our, our provider and our guide. 
everything will work out well. And we don't need to worry about presents. We don't need to worry about what we don't have. We just need to worry about what we do have and what can we give. What can we do in this season? It's a, it's a season of love. It's a season of caring and, and being kind to each other and helping each other. Amen. So may God richly bless you all. I'm realizing more and more day by day it is not material things. It is not what we get. It's what we have and who's in our lives. And it's important to God to seek to have us cast all our cares every single day on the Lord Jesus Christ and not carry people. How can God be God in our family's life if we're carrying them? If God wants to help our family and we're worried about them and we're intervening and we're making sure they've got this and that, where does God have room by this Holy Spirit to help us? So we need to practice giving everything to God daily, surrendering our lives, taking up our cross, putting on the full armor of God every day, mount up, have courage, have hope in God that he is going to help us day by day, moment by moment, hour by hour, and we will succeed if we put our hope and our faith and our trust in God. So God bless you guys. I pray that a hedge of protection around you all, that you will be blessed in this season mightily, realizing that it's not about gifts, it's not about Santa, but it's about loving each other and, and seeing about each other, making sure that we're all okay. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.